Morning. I swear a lot. Well, yeah, you, yeah, you have a level up. Nice. What a way to start the day. <laughs> what a way to start the day indeed. Oh god, I'm, I really want to just tell you some of the stuff, but also that might be spoilers, I have no idea. Oh, bruh, I, my power now, uh, now that I've hit level 5, my power is maximum, alright? Do you want to hear the class feature I got? <laughs> As if you don't yeah, already know. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, it's been a month, but I genuinely have forgotten. Good, good. <laughs> Pleased with your service, your otherworldly patron added new boons to the terms of your pack. Blade Pact holders gain an extra attack with their Pact weapon. That's exciting for you. Pact of the Chains Familiar also gains an extra attack. I can't actually get that. <laughs> That's true, you're not going up to level 5 with your uh, Warlock, are you? Mostly yeah, Paladin. I'm going 4 and 8. I mean, you'll get extra attacks just from being a paladin, so that works out. Yeah, true. But now I can do an extra two damage per turn with my cat. <laughs> God damn it. The pack of the chain is so fucking useless. When is Larian gonna fucking nerf the pack of the chain warlock? Because it's so fucking broken. My God. <laughs> Oh god, I think this was like a DND 5e kind of thing. So so it was like the first like first edition of fifth edition. That makes no sense. Beats, I hear that like the other familiars actually have some genuine utility, like they're actually kind of good for various purposes, and the cat is literally like a stealth and distraction thing. So I am playing Pact of the Chain wrong. Let's you know, let's not get it twisted, but still, goddamn, I would really prefer to just stab him an extra time with my knife. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna get counter spell. You should always have counter spell. Yes, yes. Uh, have you pressed record yet or no? Oh yeah, I've been recording the whole time. I recorded before I came in here. Fuck. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you know oh, me. Yeah. I, I edit. Um, the editing is good. It's not a stream. We're fine. <laughs> Alright, yeah. Okay, so, so they won't hear our 20 minute ramble about about Limbus in this Baldur's Gate 3 video. Honestly, if it went on for long enough, I was considering... I was it's thinking to myself, like, should I just cut this and then, like, make it a tiny Limbus podcast and put it up alongside another video at some point? Uh, that'd be hilarious. Okay, so, what did we do last time? It, it's been a month and I can barely remember. Uh, okay, so... We finished we off the killed goblins. Them, we killed... Like completely, we 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 have made them extinct. Yeah, we went back. We took out the camp, like you know, just outside the chapel. Then we went in the chapel and bodied them, and everyone started talking about Limbus. And then we killed the spiders, which I was like, that's not a good move, but we did it anyway. There was the um in the in the little spider bit, and I was like, there's no point being down here; it's pointless. And then we found a hole in the wall. <laughs> we need to explore that hole in the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, right, um, what else? Oh, right, off camera, because Foreman prodded me to do it, to, to do it, I ended up doing some exploring. Yes. You got me to fight a friggin' warg thing. Was it, was it the Knoll? Was it the, what, Chieftain Knoll? Yes, the Knolls, I'm like the two people who She's were She's really friggin fucking tough, isn't she? <laughs> You're telling me, I... <laughs> So, like two people got down during that entire thing. I had to use all of my spell slots. I wasn't prepared for anything. I didn't long rest or short rest. I remember I did an off-camera playthrough because because I was you know I wanted to familiarize myself with bits of the game before you and I got there so I could kind of not tell you what's happening but know what's happening and kind of you know can't present it in that way. Point is I got to that Noel Warlord and she I was playing on Tactician. She kicked my ass like three times in a row. And I was like, this is... Well, I knew it'd be harder on Tactician, but I think she's just difficult by herself. Like, she's just really tough. Uh, good thing you weren't playing on Honor Mode. I think that would have fucking I, slaughtered you. I can't... I don't think I could do a Baldur's Gate 3 Honor Mode run. That's beyond me. I'm not that good at tactical RPGs. At all. Uh, neither am I. But honestly, I love this game so much, I might as well freaking try it. I... I love making myself suffer until I don't, and then I cry in a corner, and then I come back because I like suffering. What I will probably do is when we eventually finish this, I might do a warlock run on honor mode and see how far I get. Ooh, that'll be an experience. Alright, so, um, 
What are we doing? Oh, right, we're in the underdark. Okay, first things first, find the pack weapon. I, I am yes. not this thing again. I, I made sure to cast Invocation Armor of Shadows while we were talking, so I was like, I know I'll forget. I just know I will. Holy. I don't think, we didn't go in here, so I have no idea. Right, well, let's climb up and uh, see what we have. My aunt just brought over a plate of gum, which I'll probably eat later. Nice. Is, is there actually nothing in here? I think... Is there nothing here? I think there's... Uh, oh, this is a way to get into on, um, the, the priestess's room. If you have, like, jumping skills and stuff. Oh. Well, that's not very helpful. Yeah, because he fucking assassinated her. Yeah, we've already been there. That's where we're going, in fact. <laughs> Damn it. Right. Okay. Uh, let's head over. Let's head over to Priestess Scott's room, I suppose, and then we head into the Underdark, and then afterwards we head into the. What? what what's the name of the other place? Can I, I, I was gonna call it the Overdark, but that makes no goddamn sense. The Overdark is. I mean, that's just land. That's just the surface, isn't it? Um, I don't know it's like the mountain pass or whatever. <laughs> yeah, the mountain pass. The mountain pass. There's no cool name for it, like Underdark. It's just a place. I think yeah. I went the wrong way, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> My hat's on a little Can too tight and played, I can't see. <laughs> I haven't played this game in a while, so I don't actually know where anything is. Hell. I do remember where God's room is, but I wandered off and I realized not only am I going the wrong way, but you'd probably follow me. And I'm like, um, my failure has compounded. Right, okay. Uh, that's, that's Draw Ragslin. Ah, uh, you remember Draw Ragslin. I remember him kiss, kicking, not kissing, kicking my ass. <laughs> now he's kissing dirt because he's Wait. dead. Oh god! God damn it! I went in the wrong direction twice. You can do it. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, what happened here? Oh right, we killed her fucking bodyguard very easily, if as I recall. Action economy. Hell yeah! Spells. We love casting them. We love casting spells and having action economy, and absolutely now when we have to fight 12 drow and, uh, and goblins. Yeah, funny how when we were outnumbered, suddenly everything went wrong. Strange, that. <laughs> I mean, we pulled it off somehow. If only we'd had a very powerful druid shape-shifting as a bear, that probably would have helped. Hmm, yeah. That would have been very useful. Very useful indeed, but uh, too bad we didn't have it, wink wink nudge nudge. Yeah, it's not like we could have just got it, nah. <laughs> nah, nah, absolutely not. No. Totally. Alright. Are you ready for the longest ladder in human history? How long is the ladder actually? Long. Uh, well, it, it, it's only like 12 feet, right? 12 feet? Yeah. How's oh, that? How's that for mind. twelve that feet? <laughs> that is that is significantly more. Imagine having to climb that distance on a ladder, though. I mean, that's what the freaking uh, char people did. If like you you slip your foot, like you know, if you just happen to slip, then bye bye. To be deemed worthy by the great All right. Let's see. Continuous Where the hell are we? Have a look. Oh, have hey, Lazel and Carlyke are having a talk. They were doing a conversation. Um, what's this? It's a lock door. Shit. Ah, uh, wait. A Starian. <laughs> we so don't have our lock, lock picker on us. <laughs> well, I mean, uh, shoot. Did, did, did I bring any lock picking tools or no? These tools. All right, fuck it. We go. You bowling? Never mind, we are not balling. That's not a DC balling. 20. Don't worry, everyone's watching. Uh. Oh, um. Here, how about. Uh, uh, no, no. I like this idea. Here, let me help. I got nothing. Okay, um. Let's see. It isn't the piercing, not uh, piercing, necrotic, and radiant. Immune, 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 medium toughness. What the hell does that do? Twenty-two damage condemn. 
lowest the amount of damage no. it can take. It needs 22 damage at bare minimum? Are you kidding me? Hell no. Which means we kind of need I, to I, crit okay. it in order to do any real damage to it, and then we need to crit consistently to actually break it down. Right, um, okay, what's here exactly? Explosive barrel. I have an idea. Please don't shoot it, I don't want to die. I won't shoot it near you. That sounds like the moment I leave the area you're going to shoot it. I, I, I never said I wouldn't shoot it at all, I just said I wouldn't shoot it near you. Out of the way. Uh, wait, 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 wait. I've got an idea. I've got an idea. Get Karlak to pick it up. Right click on it with Karlak. This is why I was going to blow it up, because I want to try something. Karlak, pick. And then put it down next to the locked gate. Oh, I like what you're thinking. I don't... I don't think it will, like, really work, but I wanted to try anyway. It probably would be easier just to This is an oil barrel. Uh, could we get it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it probably won't explode, will it? It'll just set on fire. Try it anyway. Yeah. yeah. We're not going to take it with us, after all. True. Wait, did I just throw it? I threw it. <laughs> well... Have you got you've got firebolt, uh, right? Like the cantrip. Do I? Um. I'd be surprised if you didn't. Shit! I didn't take firebolt. I don't have it either. <laughs> well, to be fair, firebolt is kind of redundant because I have eldritch blast. Uh. Well, then for fire damage, I mean, we can't set oil on fire with not fire. Otherwise, there's no fire. We've just made a mess, is what we've hey, done. Hey, Carlac. <laughs> hey, Carlac. Can, can you set it on fire by standing in it? Technic canonically, yes. In gameplay, no. Damn it. We've just, all we've Fix done is make a mess. Already. We have come into this beautiful temple and just spill oil all over the floor. Ah, uh, this is a comedy effect. Fix your game, Larian. Make, <laughs> make her like, canonically set oil on fire. Make her completely unusable, Larian. Make it canon. Make it lore accurate. Alright, um... What do we have here? Candles. Ooh, ooh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna steal that real quickly. Candles. In search of the night song. Hang on. Remember hearing about that? Yet each by each they have failed, indicating dead end, she buffs, or else uh, disappearing together. Something's <laughs> approaching the gate. What? It's not at the gate. Wait, what? <laughs> we have a friend. We have a guest. Should I let him in? <laughs> Uh, no, that's, <laughs> that's, a, that's a minute. That's a minute. What he, the fuck? He has expired. Welcome here. This much is clear. Our guest has expired. Oh, number one, why? What? Number one, why is there a minotaur? Number two, why the hell did it die to lasers? This, uh, this, um, this temple appears to have some sort of arcane, rudimentary turret system. If you have a little gander <laughs> outside the front gate. That. <laughs> Hang on, you must be- Holy shit, you're serious. Twin appear I am, yes! That- Mmm. Probably gonna need to turn that off if, if we wanna not die. We wanna explore in that direction, certainly. Right. Uh, where was I again? Oh, right, reading the night song. <laughs> Terribly sorry our rude guest interrupted your reading, sire. <laughs> um, now then, uh, can we stop this thing from firing lasers? Can we indeed? I made more of a mess. Well, it would appear. Can you see perhaps what might be the source of the, these turrets' power? I didn't see the lever, no. I mean, like... Oh, there is a lever. That is helpful. Okay, the gate's open. Oh. Wait, then what... what? I, I guess the moonstone... Uh... A chance to Moonstone. Hey, buddy. Uh, hey. Sorry, you probably incredibly priceless. Path is, path is interrupted. Fuck you. One second. Okay, there. Now is that. Okay, there you go. Hey, buddy. Uh, How you doing? Hi, sorry. Alas. What the fuck? Wait, what? 
It has one HP. What the hell just happened? It would appear that your spells uh, are pretty bon, but not bon enough. Would you like me to have a go? Hang on. What the hell did? Yeah, go ahead. What the hell just happened? Fuck you, Stone. What? What the? <laughs> Shadow is a money gang. What? 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 Shadow the Moon. Okay. That. Mm. That uh, that stone is fucking gone well, though. Ho well, hopefully that didn't do anything. That oh yeah. What's the worst that can happen? It means we'll have to entertain any future oh, guests. Yeah. I found a key. Or if you're a druid, you could turn into like a mouse. Because my I don't think my cat can even fit in there. Can you get the cat to fit in there? She don't want none of it. Darn. Dumb cat. Whatever. <laughs> That's my patron, dude. Be chill, be chill. <laughs> I saw a killer goblin. I did. All right. Damn it. I want to pick up the book. Give me... I want to pick up the book. I don't want to touch the skeleton. Ew. No, just give me the book. I don't want to touch that gross guy. He's dead. Ew. Sucks for the also one who's supposed... Oh, happened. hello. What the... This stuff is everywhere. What? If, uh, uh, we have uh, another guest. He's wandering away. What happened? Uh, a guest. What is that? He's oh God! <laughs> a guest. That, hmm, let's let's try to avoid that. If possible. Twitter. I don't think we're capable of killing it just yet, are we? I Let mean, me, uh, this is a, this is a party of level fives. I mean, we took we down a hag. We have action economy. We have action economy advantage. You know what? Let's start this video off with a bang, because we ain't cowards. Let's do this. Station. What the fuck? More are coming. Ah, uh, it has 84 oh. health. Hmm. And there are more. Oh, there are a few. There's three, if I... Two there or three. Two. two. Um, hmm. Okay. Maybe I am a bit of a coward. I'm feeling a tad more cowardly than I was before we started, but you know what? It's gonna be fine. Nothing a couple spells won't fix. Step the fuck back. Oh wow, that that, that did that did a pretty good amount of damage. Um, shit, I I forget how to play this game. Uh, <clears throat> Carlos not Carlos not in melee range just yet, so I guess just. Get ready and stand guard, I suppose. Me and my Lazel, Me and my uh, cat are gonna hide behind this barricade. God, it's gonna be so weird for people who are watching this like as a series because I'm I rapidly became incompetent. <laughs> well, it's been like a month, man, you know? And I've played It has been a month. Yeah. I've played two hundred hours of this game, so it's kind of entrenched in my brain how to play it. You have not done two hundred hours. Actions urge and uh surge. Right Might be able to shoot him. Go at him. Wait, what? I I said rush at him. Go. I. Why the fuck are you not rushing at him? She's not rushing at him. Lazel, what the hell is wrong with you? My I suggest diplomacy. That was some good diplomacy. No. That's my kind of diplomacy. And again. Never mind. We've done a fair amount of damage to him already. Yep. Oh dear. What the hell was that? I suspect these guys do quite a bit of burst damage. If I may, just <laughs> I don't uh, know. Oh boy. Whoa! Oh. How did you miss, fucking loser? Didn't miss Carlac oh, though, admittedly. Oh, oh no! That, that that is bad. That is very bad. That is no um, good. Watching Ray. Scorching Ray, please kill, please kill it. You could fudge the rolls in your favor. I rolled favor. a 20 sex. I rolled a 20 there. And I got a crit. We might be able to body this guy very quickly. Fucking... Pommel him! Dunk it on the head. Yeah! I reckon I can now just okay, blast Corbin? him away. Yeah, go do that. Uh, Carlac, go up front and try to... We love casting spells! 
Boink. Today I slew a minotaur. And... Yeet. And, uh, bang. I love how the music changes as people like die. Three... Well, so much for the fact that like three actions is great. It's great. Fighters are really good, man. They are very good class. Very good. If only Lisa wasn't kind of a prickly prick. If only fighters weren't kind of boring. <laughs> <laughs> if only fighters were kind of boring. I mean, like, you uh... know, a fighter would kick the shit out of my warlock, but my warlock is a lot more fun to play. <laughs> Did it take 21 damage? Oh, I fell and I can't get up. <laughs> um, main weapon attack, go. It was, the most, uh, it was the most pathetic thing I've ever seen me do. <laughs> that was a good hit. It is indeed a good hit. Um, I have run out of things to do. My cat, Shit. my cat fell over. I'm back up now. <laughs> Damn it! Everyone is all the way back here, and they can't do crap. I'm not in. Uh, yeah, I'm not in an retaliation range. That's good. So I'm gonna back the fuck off. Is Karlak in range to him? Before it kills me. Because uh, my Eldritch Blast move. might knock him back, yeah. so I don't want to move him. And if you're trying to do something first. Boink. Okay, time for big spells. Oh my god, cat, get yeah, him! It's time for the cat! Yes! Go! Yes! Go. Yes! Go. Yeah! Oh god. Yes! The cat did something! My Hallelujah. patron slew a minotaur! <laughs> Powerful patron indeed. And who says Pack to the Chain sucks? Uh, you. Me? I've said it a lot. <laughs> I love Pack to the Chain, yeah. I really do. How much farther can I go? Uh, okay. Minotaurs have been looted. Let's see. Those are some pretty big funguses. There's big mushrooms down here. Big mushroom, big, big mushroom. Uh, quickly grab some... My side draw some your beads. attention to something before we progress in this direction? Go on. I think you'll find it interesting. Don't worry, this is not a trap, I swear. I believe you. As if I would admit it if it was. I oh. mean, reverse like. Okay, I didn't know that was gonna happen. What the fuck is happening? God, what's happening? I. Mm. Okay, with. Okay, I think we're. Alright, I didn't know that was gonna happen. That was not a part of the reason I brought you over here. Do you happen to see something? What the. Oh! I know what that is, I just didn't is think that? it would happen. <laughs> Okay. What the fuck is that? Uh, nothing for you to worry about. <laughs> uh, should we move on? What? <laughs> what? What the fuck is that? Nah, everything's fine, don't worry about it. Look, there's a glowing sword over here. Ooh. Ooh, shiny. Very shiny. Shiny. Very shiny. A slender drow blade impales the stone before you. Keeping a silent vigil. It's pretty fucking cool. And you can pallet in the shit out of All it. Alright. Consider what the proper appropriate ritual might be. Let's see. Oh boy. I forgot that I have a negative one to intelligence because Lemon is not smart. But you got advantage. Doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> This blade was a warrior's, a warrior's sacrifice to Elastrace. Blood, can, blood can only be honored with blood. blood. It is a drow blade. But you can paladin it again. Grip the sword. Prove thine worth. Be the one who grips. Yes. I am the one who grips. I am the one who shall grip. It feels like you're warring with ten people for the blade, but with another hard yank, the weapons yeah. from the stone. Ooh. King now, Arthur! Lemon is worthy, confirmed. Confirmed.
New King of England, Lemon. And now I'm and now I'm encumbered. Hang on. Uh, <laughs> it's a heavy sword. I need to I need to toss some stuff over to Lazel as the pack mule. Pack mule, we require uh, your assistance. So the sword you got is a finesse long sword, which means it scales off of dex instead of strength. Well, then I really can't use it now, can I? <laughs> no, but you know who can? Me. <laughs> oh right, yes. But uh, right, no wonder you wanted. No wonder you wanted me to give it to you. No wonder you wanted me. To, you no wonder you wanted me to find it. I One mean, I'm not. I might have had an agenda or two. I don't, it is a very cool sword, to be fair, and it's a cool cutscene. And I knew it was paladin based, so I thought you might want to have a paladin moment. <laughs> now I'm not proficient with this, so I might have to go respec. Where where the Minotaur died. Right. Yeah. Let's let's go do that. Yes. I've been promoted from knife wizard to spell sword. Wonderful. Now it's only a pack of the blade. <laughs> I don't then need. Then you could make full use of that thing. God, if I was packed to the blade, I could make use of it, couldn't I? Oh, that's annoying. Well, hey, if if the joke of Elder's Cat gets old, you can always do it. I'll probably just respec and replace um my lucky trait with like, you know, martial prowess with this weapon or something. Oh, there's a trap there. There's a trap. If only we. Uh, so does anyone stand back? Oh right, yes, we, we yes we have the spellcasters. Uh, we we have the spellcasters version of. Pazam. Pazam, trap dispel. <laughs> I have disarmed the trap. Look like I'm posing for a rap album picture. Shadow is a money game. <laughs> Love casting spells. Well, we're spying the world because fuck the world. Yeah, fuck the world. What has the world ever done for us? Except, what, what has the world ever done for us except like literally make us live? All I need is money and spells. And the sword. Yeah. The sword is also cool, yeah. I, I, I've, I've, to be fair, I absolutely adore this weapon. <laughs> it's so cool. The weapon is pretty cool, yeah. Fucking, like... This is why when Frost- There was another one?! There was actually two. I'm gonna get rid of the other one. But this is why when Frosty was like, Hey Foreman, do you want a weapon? And I was like, I've kind of already got one in mind. I didn't disarm the bar mine at nearly- Oh boy, oh. Oh no, uh... I will get rid of it. I will how get rid of it. How does it keep being disarmed? Hang on, yeah, let's- let's- okay. Um... Blast mine destroyed the rope mm. ladder. That, that, uh... <laughs> mm. oh, I love this that game. Issue. Right, I forgot rope ladders were destructible. Yeah, yeah, well, you know, oh. Um. <laughs> oh, I think everything's okay. Alright. What the hell is this? Yeah, there's a rumbling. There's oh my God. Something big has the rumbly in its tummy. Oh, it's food. Uh, well, I'll tell you what. Hmm. what well, uh, here, here's a question. How am I supposed to get down? <laughs> By breaking your... Oh, don't worry, I've got it. Check this out, right? I don't even need to cast a spell. Oh, right. You. Oh, right. You have the ability known as jumping. I can jump. I hmm, forgot about that. Okay, uh, let's just quickly get over here for a moment. Uh, fuck you, boxes. Thank you, boxes. Let's see. What do we have here? Lock. A locked chest. Good thing I have 12 thieves tools and minus one dexterity. <laughs> 12 thieves tools and infinite patience. Oh, wow. You did it first try. Ah... <laughs> uh, all of these tool and functionally infinite patience. Let's see. What do you have in here? Uh, ooh, alchemist fire and smoke powder bomb. Smoke powder bombs are brilliant. As a, just so you are aware, you'd see, you'd hear smoke powder and you think like, oh, it's a smoke bomb. No, it's just a bomb. It's a straight up concussive explosion. Amazing. I love it already. They're fantastic. I love them. Also, while we're oh, looting this loot area, area, could I borrow a hundred gold off you? Uh, 
Sure, I have plenty. One second. Let me just open up my tab. Thanks. And uh, how do I how do I split how do I split them again? Oh right, one hundred. Okay. Uh, ba -ba -da -bum. uh just gonna just just take like two hundred ish. Oh One's nice, happening. thanks. Because figuring while we loot this area, it's pretty fucking calm around here. I'd go respec, so we'd have to do it. I don't know right. when we want to do something. There you go. Go, yeah, go take it. Lovely. Go, go take it. Thank I'm you. I'm gonna loot this area while while you're busy respecking. Uh, what? What? Uh, you're respecking into what again? I'm still gonna be a warlock. I'm just changing one of my uh, perks. Ah, okay. I'll be almost exactly the same. Uh, I'll just be able to use my sword. Wonderful. I don't have the gold. Did I give you the gold? I'm checking my inventory, I can't see any gold. Or did I fail to give gold, which is something that I should not be failing at. Task failed successfully. No, I did I... Did you just... I just failed to give gold. There's... <laughs> <laughs> we... We don't mention this. Ah, I've got gold now, thank you. Well done, successfully giving me gold. I appreciate it, I'll be back. <laughs> Yes, I, I totally, absolutely never- Nat 20! <laughs> Nat 20 on donating gold to your poor wizard friend. <laughs> well, the, it, 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 it was unlocking the chest, but yeah, more yeah more or less. <laughs> that, that same thing, really. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Withers, I need your help. Arrows! So that just said arrows, which I'm never going to use, because I don't think anyone has- a, Anyone focuses on ranged attacks much. I mean, Except maybe I guess, uh, Lazel can become a very good archer. <laughs> oh, right, yeah. Ar archer fighter is a pretty general combo. Archer fire is very strong. They're <laughs> very funny, too, because Ranger is the one who's normally supposed to be the archer, so fucking. Ah, uh, you're right. I remember now the fucking memes are just. Fighter being a better ranger. Yeah, why well, be a ranger when you can just be a fighter with a bow? I do really like rangers though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, everyone riffs on ranger, but ranger is pretty useful, as far as I'm aware. They're just cool, in my opinion. I have no trap disarm kits, fuck. You, we, we may require uh, a good friend of Sarin's assistance for this area. Uh, hmm. Okay, Astarian, one second. Ooh. And by one second, I mean a solid several. Many years. Not, well, maybe not years, because I still have to do her quest, but like. <laughs> Literal a years. A, a solid amount. A solid amount. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna fucking leave her to rot for that long, probably. I'm sure this statement will age well. Nice. Okay, how is your restack going? It's good, it's good. I'm figuring it out, I'm figuring it out. I'm very much the same as I was before, okay. honestly. I just wanted yeah, to be able to use the sword. I mean, yeah, fair enough. No, no reason, no reason to diverge from being packed of the packed of the chain when you, you have a pretty good thing going with, with, with your patron cat, right? Right. I like, I like, I like it. It's good. It works for me. Remember that cat slew a minotaur. And I slew that the other one. Slay, that cat did indeed slay a minotaur. Yes. That cat, yeah, yeah. I would say let's use the fucking Baldur's Gate series to advertise Limbus, but <laughs> no one's watching this who hasn't already seen Limbus, so what's the point? <laughs> well, I mean, on the off chance that someone is, uh, hey, go, go play watch Limbus. Limbus right now. Right. Yeah, go, go play and or watch Limbus. Or else I will come to your house and, sh and I'll blast you in the face. I will cast many spells in your general vicinity if you don't play or watch Limbus. We will cloud of daggers you. I don't even we know what I'll cast. I'll roll a dice and cast whatever spell comes out. For Foreman, will Foreman will become a wild magic mage just in, <laughs> just in order to do this. I would love to be a wild magic warlock. That would be so insane. <laughs> You keep losing and receiving the ability to see invisible. <laughs> Does the fucking Urzat's eye just spontaneously appear and disappear? Every time I level up, it pops out of my head for a split second and I only have one eye and then it comes back. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's a painful that's... life, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> a painful life to be a foreman. Look, I make the necessary sacrifices for the powers that I have. 
Yeah, and that was fucking taking Volo's offer to fucking jab out your own eye. Was that not one of the funniest fucking cutscenes ever, though? I adore that cutscene. It's funny, yeah, I, I would agree. But it also was kind of, uh... <laughs> Gruesome? Squicky. It was a little squicky. <laughs> That, yeah, I, I, I stuff is, ooh, poopy. But, A, they weren't too, gra <laughs> they weren't too graphic with it, which was, you know, good of them. And B, and I can't stress this enough, it was very funny. It was very funny, yeah. It, it was pretty damn funny. There we go. Oh, I can gain proficiency there with four we weapons. Ah. Oh. oh, fuck yeah. Scimitars, rapiers, short swords, and long swords. Those are all finesse weapons. How splendiferous. Ah, oh, goddamn, I said it again. Splendiferous, my dear boy. I love that I've got a level three spell now. Um. Oh. Count spell for I, days. I heard that, and then I felt like something was wrong. Because. I immediately auto corrected that to like a Sherlock quote. <laughs> Elementary, my dear boy. Yeah, so that felt wrong. That felt wrong internally. I could be Sherlock. Uh, I'm, I'm Warlock Holmes. Come on. Warlock Holmes. Come on, that's pretty good. <laughs> That, <laughs> yeah, that is pretty. That, yeah, that is pretty good. Warlock Holmes, <laughs> instead of relying on perceptiveness, he relies on being able to commune with elder gods. Why would I need to investigate a crime scene when I can just ask Cthulhu who did it? And Cthulhu's like, Lamau, hey, Cthulhu. it was me. Hey, Cthulhu, who stabbed this guy? <laughs> cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, this is a weird tone we're setting for the video. <laughs> I, my transformation is complete. I am strong now. You are. You, <laughs> I'm sorry. Give me a moment. <laughs> the funny thing is, my respec uh, has actually probably made me slightly weaker, but I don't care. <laughs> No one gives a shit. No one cares. Well, I can't cast my cat because I'm out of ritual spell slots. Oh. Oh no. no. Fuck. We would have to take a short rest, which we're not doing because we've not taken enough damage or used enough spell slots. I've used exactly one, so yeah. I've used zero. I was surprisingly- I showed a lot of restraint during that Minotaur fight. Indeed you did. Somehow. Alright, I guess we're taking the elevator. I'll make a new friend. You say you were out of- oh. Mage hand. Okay. <laughs> I have many friends. Elevator! Le yeah, it doesn't work. Never mind! Not elevator! <laughs> not elevator! Fuck me! Fuck me! Seven days to sideways. No elevator for you. Okay, I guess we're going the other other way, which is uh, where again? I have no idea. This map is confusing. We're going down. Maybe later. We're going down, yes. Down into the Underdark, where I probably should be going. One second, I forgot that we lost a rope bridge. Which was definitely not my fault. I definitely had nothing to do with that. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I didn't destroy an explosive mine that burns the rope ladder. That would be a dumb thing, and I'm too smart for that. Yes, you are indeed too smart. I have an intelligence of 12, you know. <laughs> Slightly above average. <laughs> That's what I like to be. That's what I strive for. I I fully expected you to say you, you oh. had an intelligence of what the fuck. Wasn't a bullet. Was it? A bullet? Is that a female bullet? Does it, just, does it just happen the moment I pass by purple fog? Maybe. That I feel like that's been a running thing. Whenever I pass by the purple fog, the fucking thing burrows. Maybe it's a purple underground ghost. 
What? It, what? A fucking depth form from from DST? Hell no. I you don't know. Even the mushrooms down in the jungle trap. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. What was that? I mean, I wasn't just going to tell you what was going to happen, but I didn't really have time to anyway. <laughs> I, mm, I, mm. So, there's a delightful little combination down here. You see, there's those befuddling shrooms, right? Which No! Which... Fuck this shit! Fuck <laughs> this shit! I'm destroying those! Good, good. So, Timisks, right? They befuddle you, they make you laugh, and they set off the, um... The torch stalks, which explode and set it all on fire, which does some damage. Oh! There are myconids here. Yeah, mushroom people. Hello, uh, please be friendly or else we are going to murder you. I'm sorry we disturbed your mushrooms. Kinda. Hello, mushroom people. Uh, please be friendly. Please be friendly or else, um, we will commit mass genocide, probably. Please part the ways for your gracious spell sword wizard man. You are swallowed by a chorus of turbulent music through one creature sing many voices. The harmony of an... Oh, a high collective. Yeah. Sovereign, he has come. He is here. Ah, uh, more fans. Fades. A single melody rises above the others, brassy and commanding. I am sovereign. I am sovereign. You see <laughs> Your lifeless body wrapped in fungal tendrils. Threatening me. Is threatening you. He's a scary Stage man, boy. Purpose. Mushroom, actually unspecified gender. Um, hmm. I'm supposed to, I'm to tell the truth or do what is right. What would Lemon say? Second one. Fungal roots weave through your mind, seeking your true intent. Then the Sovereign drones a new melody, cautious but welcoming. I can mend neither skin nor spirit, but we still might commune. Oh, That's useless. Can't help, but he may... to me. Let us Descend speak to me, let us speak in flesh. The persistent music coaxes you forward. The Sovereign expects you. Nice color scheme, bro. Oh, so they are friendly. They're How splendiferous. Friendly mushroom friends. I mean, they also threaten me, so... I mean, there might be... Maybe, maybe there's outsiders here who have scared them. Uh, maybe... May Fucking saving icon. I mean, they saw something as intimidating as me show up. They were, right. they, they were a little oh, scared. Oh, dead Mike and it's proud. Yeah, that's not okay, great. Okay, let's not let's let's not loot that because but, I think if I loot that, I'm gonna piss them off. Yeah, let's not touch it. There's a Dwerga spore servant yeah. over here. What's a Dwerger? That is like a underdark dwarf. Ah, I see. I see. More of an equivalent so this of a drought. This is an interesting. This is an interesting little. Ooh, a pouch. It's Draw Raglan. Wait, what? Or his cousin? Oh, hello, Blurg. What, what the fuck is that name? I love his name so much. Ah, a visitor. Oh god, that's Your what you meant by Dr. Ragslin. <laughs> the, locals. the scholar's brow tenses. His voice spills into your skull, the spores connecting mind to mind. Blurg, proud member of the Society of Brilliance at your service. He's brilliant. <sighs> or perhaps not. Mm. Your mind is far more complex than that of the fungi. I've never heard of the Society of, of Brilliance. Understandable. We are small in number and rarely stay in one place for long. My colleagues and I are working to improve conditions in the Underdark. This need not oh, be wow. such a, nice a group. dire, hostile place. A cool guy. It's curious to find a surface dweller here. 
What has brought you down so A deep? friendly hobgoblin. Yeah. A spellcaster from okay. the Okay, uh, a mind flayer infected me with a tadpole. Truly remarkable. But why come to the Underdark, where they hold so much power? I'm gonna beat him up. Uh, okay, you let me just go through the whole story. by an illithid <laughs> tadpole? It's a miracle you're still intact. And then we killed like 50 goblins. Sick, but have no fear. I have, have no fear. May be able to a assist. friend who may be able to assist. Oh, Ooh. Omelium. I hope this is important, Zerg. My Zerkwood samples need constant attention. It is. This adventurer has an illithid tadpole inside his head, but he hasn't turned. No ceremony. Oh. That's impossible. What the fuck? But intriguing. It's a mind flayer. Are you looking to have it extracted? Uh, uh, and Elizabeth is your friend? How is that possible? I have broken free from the elder brains. Oh, of damn. It. Yeah. I no longer serve the grand design. I ask that you refrain from violence. While I respect that your opinion of my kind. Damn. A perfectly reasonable mind flayer. A cool guy. Allegedly, That's anyway. Perfect. Well, I mean, this hobgoblin and him are, are in pretty good terms, so I think, I mean, I think we're good. They seem pretty chill. Pretty chill, yeah. Okay, um, what is the grand design? To eliminate the gift eliminate and, the gift and enslave all other humanoids. humanoids. Just conquer kind of ah, the world, basically. That settles matters for the time being. Would you like a diagnosis? He's a doctor. Open your mind to me. Let us see what lurks within. A brain doctor. Okay. In the event that things go poorly, at the very least, we have three other people backing me up. And mind flayers. Are, wait, uh, wait, hang on. Mind flayers are overpowered as shit, aren't they? Huh? Sorry, my brain was miles away. Oh, wait. Uh, in the event that this goes poorly, could three of us take on one mind flayer? At level five? Yeah, I'd say so. I mean, my things are pretty tough, and that underworld guy... Under ah, fuck it. Okay. I trust you. Don't betray me, As please. The there are three- there's three of us, and he's within stabbing distance. pulses with power. It feels ten times its size. Alive. Awake. Smug? My smug. Smug little this gremlin. is most unusual. <laughs> The incubation period should be complete, as should your transformation. We should already be dead. The so even this is infused with strange. So even this mind flare is unaware of what the, what the issue is. Yeah, he just peeks in our brain and gone. What the fuck is that? What happens if Stasis goes I away? Can only theorize, but I suspect your transformation would be both agonizing and. Instantaneous. Mm. I thought it was always agonizing, Amelium. <laughs> it was always agonizing. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, <laughs> my you guys need to work on your bedside manner. How do you extract no. a tadpole? It appears to be shielded from physical and magic. Right, that, that, that was what that was what the dream vendor told the shield, me. The extraction would involve severe cranial trauma. Yeah. That does not sound ideal. It's not ideal. <laughs> would surely Princess kill you. It is not Yi Sang. It is not Yi Sang indeed. Not to worry. It is not Sang Yi. Should you <laughs> I will happily perform a new examination. It is not Osip. <laughs> I, I heard that and then I had to process that for a moment because I didn't understand what that was. <laughs> uh, I, I had to take a sec to remember how to say it because there's so fucking many of them. Uh, yeah, there's like 12 of them. Uh, mm, I swear that's not. Uh, Alright, continue. Uh, so that's shit. 
Uh, not so this is a mind that did not go on a Nautiloid. I assume there were warships during the greatest eras of the Illicid Empire. Interesting. The astral plane from they the are decks. basically the spacefaring battleships. When the Gith rebelled and ended our dominion. Thanks for the information. Of course. I am sorry I cannot assist you in its removal. Wow. But I have Ooh, an, idea. an idea. He has a very squiggly idea. Oh. I should start taking notes. Shut up, Blug. There may be a way to bypass that stasis. There are many alchemical substances that can influence the mind. Isn't the stasis why the title hasn't killed me yet? I do not yet? intend to shatter its protection. I need only bypass the interference that prevents me from communicating with the lava. Then tell it to stop being such a little scrot. Okay, what kind of alchemy is this? Because the way you're, because the way you're saying it tells me that it makes it sound like you're gonna make me make me high on cocaine. It may be extreme drugs. A tincture distilled from a collection of rare mushrooms. From rare mushrooms. So good Some news, it's not cocaine; it's magic mushrooms. I would require that a fresh tongue of madness and timusk spores. You remember timusks? But be warned. In their natural state, both of these mushrooms can be quite dangerous. Yes. Timusks cause confusion in those that approach them. The tongue is... The tongue <laughs> is... Tongue do. Self-explanatory. Tongue of madness. Oh, so it makes us go insane. <laughs> nah, it just gives you mild indigestion. <laughs> <laughs> are, are you sure? Okay, so where do I find them? <laughs> Where do I find these magic mushrooms that will make me high? That will cure my brain. That will... I... God, this is hilarious. The Underdark, of course, although they are quite rare, and their discovery perilous. Hmm. I imagine Lenore would have them in her possession. She served Miss... I am sure Gale would have something to say here if he was present. Possibly. <laughs> All right, um, where does this Lenore live? The southwest when I last saw her, although her tower does have a tendency to move. That's annoying. What? And we have no questions about that. <laughs> Apparently that's a perfectly normal thing uh, for a tower to do. To teleport. What? Does she just cast teleport on the whole tower frequently? Yeah. She just casts move object on every single brick. Takes a while. I'm not sure if that's actually... Mm. She casts well, Thunder Wave mm. on one side of it and literally pushes it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I I think the foundation would be kind of fucked if that happened. Nah, you just put it on wheels. <laughs> okay, uh, why would a cleric have a bunch of dangerous mushrooms? <laughs> He's quite fond of her garden. Lenore has always been a lonely sort. Uh, nature, ah, only companion. Nature, I because the chance to join the society, <laughs> but she refused. Sussur bark. Her oh wait, aren't Sussur we after a Sussur tree? Yes, we wanted to find Sussur bark actually. All right, I'll come back when I find the mushrooms. Your travels be safe and swift. I want to have a wizard tower built on wheels, and then I just Eldritch Blast it down the road. Is my species evolving? Is my species evolving? Who knows? Ah, uh, what a nice mind player. I know, right? They're both very cool guys. Also, I mean, I don't know if you have much money on you, but Blurg is a trader. Oh right, yes, I forgot. <laughs> the moment I the moment I click on the I've never seen a hobgum like you before, I feel like I'm gonna do like a disco elysium accidental racism thing. <laughs> welcome to welcome okay. to the Underdark. Bargain. If anything in my private collection <laughs> Welcome to Revashon. <laughs> I am not a racist, I've read books. <laughs> 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 Circle of Blasting, which is automatically grants, grants Scorching Ray. That's a good circlet. It's a very nice circlet. <laughs> I'm buying that because it's 
fucking good. Because it's a free cast of Scorching Ray. <laughs> it's a free cast of Scorching Ray. How can it not be good? <laughs> Playing a fighter and people are like, oh, he's just a fighter. And then casting Scorching Ray at them is always a fun moment. Uh, get high. What else is there? Big drugs. Oh, hey, there's, 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 there's someone here. Hello, buddy. There is one cloak. Seems the shrooms are letting in more. You see a fella on his own on your way in. Dwarf. Balin's his name. Balin. Uh. I love that he's red. Glue tunic. Dumb as a stick. <laughs> I love that you can lie, because it's on. just like, for what purpose? Yes, I've uh, met him. And... Sorry. Never mind. Uh. Need some help finding him? Out? But don't come begging for coin if you find him. You try to ransom him to me, you'll find yourself skint and stuck with a fat old lout. Damn. Now, who is he to you? useless husband. Sent him for an errand. It's no surprise he's made a mess of it. I dare say. Forgot about my weathered chisel set. Ah, yes, your beloved weathered chisel set. Just in case we need to chisel. <laughs> Just in case one would like to chisel. I want to find a boss at 1 HP and throw it at them. Sell the shit. Buy, buy, oh, sell, sell. Sell, sell, sell. Commit commit stock market. Do a stock. Do a stonks. <laughs> I've never done stonks in my life. Neither have I, because day trading sounds fucking horrible. It's beyond me, for sure. If I did it, it would be pure gambling. You have been given glove. <laughs> oh, glove. Oh, I was miles away again. Sorry. Glove. <laughs> <laughs> Hell of thorns. Ooh. All right. Uh, what were we doing again? That's actually some Sovereign pretty good crowd control. Oh, 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 go, go. Oh, oh, I need to listen. Sorry, one second. He needs to talk to my mom real quick. Into memory, tell me of home. Now, I could do what Lemon does and attempt to fill time, but I edit these videos so I can just cut this out so I don't have to do a goddamn thing. As long as sit here and eat biscuits and drink tea, as I can. Lamel, it's good to be the boss. Biscuit. <laughs> oh, welcome back. <laughs> Uh, okay, sorry. What what did I miss? <clears throat> uh, this chubby mushroom guy was asking us to tell them of home, and Carlac's like, I don't know. Oh, I'm, I'm still playing as Carlac, right. Uh, hell. Yeah, Carlac's handling this one. Would she talk of Avernus? Probably not, because that's not, that, that's not home for her. It's not. For her, it would probably be the city. I... It would be Boulder's Gate. Probably. I, so, yeah, Creature the wide. Creatures overwhelmed by the throngs. It reveals its own home in reply. A humid cove filled with decaying myconid corpses. Ah. Dwega destroyed my people. I am a sovereign with no soul. Oh, you're really gonna get along well with the Dwega, trust me. I do not belong here. I that explains the welcome. fungal Dwegar. Yeah. That... That was... Depressing. What the fuck was that for? <laughs> Should we talk to... That's not the sovereign of this place. That's a random sovereign. Fleshwalker. Tongue talker. Are you okay? Far you've reached uh... Okay. Uh, Tell me of I, it reveals its this, I guess. More decaying myconid corpses. Hooray. Skip, 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 skip. 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 Fuck you. <laughs> Jeez. Should we talk to the real sovereign? Yeah, where the hell is the real sovereign? Follow me. Down here. Oh. That's the way out. It's up on Back these mushrooms. 
I'm not gonna run too far ahead in case it automatically starts a conversation. Oh! Oh. Mm. Dead Dwergar. Okay. I see we're immediately talking over corpses. Get body, Dwergar. Learn to compete. Yep. What is the creature doing to those corpses? Uh. That's a hell of a question out of context. Hello, Sovereign. Sovereign, hello! Sovereign's thick fingers stroke the corpse. Hang on, my ear my AirPod just fucking went busted. Ah, jeez. As the creature turns its gaze to you. You know what, screw it. I show you a memory. Y'all are experiencing absolutely no sound filtering. Woo! No sound filtering. The vision grips you. Dwega, dark dwarves chopping my remains. Oh. That explains why you hate Dwergar. That's barely even the surface of it. The Sovereign's song slows to the pace of a dirge. It is still in mourning. Cruelty indeed. To many, but intruders remain. Lakewood. The Sovereign's song halts as it measures your worth. I sense your resolve. You will find Dwergar invaders near Lake's Edge. Cleanse the rot. Destroy them. I admit, I like this one's approach. A little genocide- Of course you would like an Astarian. Big murder. Such a base evil. Why did those Dwergar attack? The purple swirl into familiar shapes. Gnomes in mining gear, chased by Dwergar. The Dwergar seek a gnome. It is a guest. Not like those Minotaurs, actual guests. You harbor a fugitive the gnome? The says nothing, but you hear hmm, appreciation honorable. in its song. They're protecting them. They killed your young. I won't let them get away. Yeah, the fuck that. Comes over you. Choking on a cloud of gleaming dust. Accept this gift. It will help you exterminate. <laughs> it's literally just a tank of pesticide. The sovereign gifts you one more vision. Provision? A wall of, a vines, wall of vines. To reveal glowing light. Ooh, and it's purple. Riches of magic and mind. The riches of magic and mind. We're gonna get paid for doing the right thing. We will await word. Well then, time to commit genocide on evil gnomes. Dwarfs. Dwarves. That is an important distinction. Right. Uh, <laughs> what magic is this? We breathe life into our enemy's flesh. The dead make a fine host for my growing children. Like fertilizer. Hmm. Let's talk about something else. Ask? Uh, nothing. Bye bye. There is a subclass of druid that specializes in that kind of magic. A haste spore grenade? Yeah. So we can have haste. What is this? Oh! Huh. That's interesting. Okay. Neat. Let's, uh, go kill Dwergar, I guess? Should we perhaps talk to this gnome? Uh, oh, right, yes. Uh, with what gnome where? The one laying here dying of Dwergar poison. Oh, fuck. Don't! Her condition is familiar. Poison, derived from a wild weed common to the Underdark. She'll need an antidote soon. Most likely held by the poisoner. Hmm. We have anti poison stuff, though. Uh, who did this to you? Slashed me. Oh. oh. Seems like an anti toxin. Like oh. oh, took pity on me. Sound, lads. Especially since the Grace gave him L for it. Sound shrooms. Snake druids take note. Yeah, for real. Snake druids take note. 
Uh, consider what you know of Dwargar poisoning lore, which given the fact that- You have advantage on this? How the fuck? What, 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 what part of Lemon has, <laughs> has ex deep knowledge on Dwergar poison? I mean, I guess being experimented on as a wing experiment would give him some knowledge, maybe? But, he, but they weren't Dwergar, they were just people. Well, I mean... There's no Dwergar the in the sea! <laughs> What's the between Dwergar and humans, really? A couple things. Like we dark all vision. We die, we all bleed, we are all evil. They'll all die and bleed in a minute. Oh yeah, because we're going to do it. Yeah, we're going to do it. <laughs> 17 ah, and a nat 1. <laughs> Alright, what do I know here? A lot, apparently. Like dwarves, Dwergar have innate resistance to poison, and thus no need, no for, need intricate for intricate bruise. bruise. Though deadly, if left untreated, the poison can be cured by the antidote. Or natural remedies. Natural remedies. Yeah, just put a little aloe vera on it, it'll be fine. Get some healing crystals. Sit tight. There must be more than one way to cure you. Go in. Yeah. I ha I can't help but feel that we do have a, literally an antitoxin on us, and that'd probably do the trick. You know, maybe, but also, like, maybe the antitoxin will mix badly with the poison. I mean, it's designed specifically to not do that. And Dwergar used very basic poison. You know what? Um, I'm gonna be an ass and save scum, just in case something goes bad. I, I can appreciate that. If it's for the case of, like, I didn't know this would kill someone and it did, that's fair enough, I'd say. Because I- because I'm trying to use, like, rash, rational-ish logic of medicine and whatnot, and I'm pretty sure medicine that does not do- I'm pretty sure medicine- does, I'm pretty sure there's normally not a catch-all antitoxin. I think if it was a more advanced poison, I would agree with you, but it- by its description, it does appear to be extremely basic. Yeah, okay. Uh, time to... Time to- oh dear, hang on. Uh, one second! <laughs> God damn it, there's music playing again. Doodle -doo 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 -doo. Don't worry, guys, if you feel like you're missing the music, I'll do music. Da bu da bu da, morning and da bu da bu da, ma da pa pa, da bu da bu da. Was that good? I took it from Mr. Bean animated series. <laughs> of all places. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. Thank Wonderful. Thank yes. you. Thank you. You should be an op. You you should be an opera. My my band uses me as the low range vocalist because I have the deepest voice. <laughs> okay, uh, here, have antitoxin. Have a nice beverage. And then she just explodes. <laughs> ah, God. Whatever that is, I needed it. Why are you oh. helping me? I don't know, it's fun. I like helping sure, people. Arguments there. Felt like a hook horror was sorting through my guts. But <clears throat> that cure did the trick. Quick Turned out antitoxin did I the trick. That is precisely what it was made for. Oh, Carl's garters. Oh, I don't have time for this. Carl's garters? What the, what the hell does that mean? I don't know who Garl is, but I know what garters are. What does garters mean? Underwear. Oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that... Mmm, where <laughs> where that's... Alright. Surprisingly okay. common in, in more old-timey lexicon. Less so nowadays. Is that why... Is that why... Uh, is, is that why someone... Some people say knickers? Yeah, like a phrase as a sort of threatening phrase is, I'll have your guts for garters. Which is 
extremely evocative when you actually think about it. Mmm, that's a mental image that I don't want in my brain. <laughs> that no one needed, but there it is. Okay, take it easy and tell me what I can do. You're the helping kind. Alright. I need you to rescue my kin. Not charity, mind. We can pay. We're Iron Hand Clan. Best, artificer Best artificers. Oh, yeah. We were on an expedition down here when the Dwegar snatched us up. What was the expedition your clan were Just on? mining for materials. Nothing unusual. The briefest hesitation, but enough. She's lying. She's fibbing. She's lying. But our work pays well. Help my clan Take the antidote make back. It worth your while, I swear. You're lying. Finally, your persuasive skills come into play. I need to roll a nine or above. That's a nine or above. Perfect. Perfect. Tell the truth. Fine. It's complicated, but my clan a has blood a blood feud. A blood feud. We were searching for something to turn the tide. That's all I can say. But it's worth a lot to us. Understand? I'll point out it's also worth a lot in general. We're being all generous. Yep. This is what we do. I nabbed these boots from the greys when I ran. S I'll feel better knowing you're boots. using them to kick some dwarves. Shoes! Shoes! Where I made my escape. And, uh, wait here, I suppose. No much choice. Alright. Uh, time to, I guess, hang on. So what kind of shoes did we just get here? I remember rightly, they're pretty good. Boots to speed! Speed boots! Time to go kill the Wagar. Uh, I would recommend after we've done all this talking, you throw down a little save. Oh, right, yes. Uh, mm, right, save, 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 save. Uh, save, 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 save. Uh, right, yes, because we did a lot of stuff and we don't want to lose progress. We are entering the point in the game in which most of the fights become quite tough. Might I suggest we go speak with Glut real quick? Oh, yes, that's that sounds a good idea. Hey, Glut, buddy, where the fuck are you? I forget how to navigate the map. Glutty boy. Over here. Oh, no, uh, fuck me, app, ass, mm. Where did I even go? I'm down here, okay. I'm heading towards him. Ah, noxious fumes! Careful of the noxious fumes. <laughs> Why are there noxious fumes here? Oh, uh, because there's a bibberbang. There's a what? That's the name of the mushroom, it's a bibberbang. Okay. Hey, Sovereign Glut. Hello. Toe Prancer. Toe Prancer? Sovereign Toe Prancer. What the fuck? Your fate. You will cleanse the Dwegar rot. Oh. I will join you. Nice. Are you sure? It's going to be dangerous. I am the I am the danger! And I am the cure! They erased my people! Oh, vengeance, I see. I will erase this. He's kind of pissed. <laughs> what threat do you pose to the Dwegar? If your foe becomes oh. your ally, oh. I will raise it. He's a mushroom-based necromancer. Very well. You may join me. In the underdark, and I will follow. We cleanse the rot. The rot will be cleansed. Right, and the we're rot gonna, being we're gonna cleanse an it. entire yeah, the, an entire race of underdark dwarves. You know what's a good tool for cleansing a rot? Fire. Well, <laughs> sure is a good thing you have Scorching Ray. The Scorching Ray is pretty good at cleansing rot. Mm. Oh, right. Speaking of, I should probably put it. I should probably. Uh, where was the, the circle of blasting? Yes. And I just started blasting. I'm going to put the circle of blasting on myself so I have a free cast of Scorching Ray whenever. Because fuck it. Scorching Ray times two. Yes. <laughs> All right, now where now where do we go to find the Dwergar Scourge? 
No, was it southwest, I believe? It's on the map. The thing is, I know where it is, I just don't know how to get there. Southwest. Uh, we just look around, I suppose. Uh, I guess it's through the... I guess it's, like, past over here, around the... Where we where 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 we started? So it's the f it's it's the saloon temple thing, the Salunite outpost. I, mm, it's west of the Salunite outpost. We could head back and try and reach it through there. All right, let's go. Oh, cool. we can teleport there, can't we? Question is, how do we do that? Um. How oh, indeed. Yes, that is the ever present question. Now, ain't that? I may have found something. Oh. Someone you found did not do a very good job with these windows. Ah. I will be lodging a complaint. This, this, is, this is an OSHA violation. <laughs> this is a major OSHA violation. There's no rails. The window's gone. Oh, there's that's a, a torch stock. There's explosive mushrooms nearby. Would you like, want me to blast it? We're blasting it. Go. To make double sure. We we double we we double blasted. Totally. Double blasting. Sorry. Ouchie. I didn't think that would reach you. Good thing it good thing it didn't hit the roots, otherwise we wouldn't be able to get down here without breaking our legs. Oh god yeah. <laughs> I have a real problem oh. with this. Oh god damn, I click on car like accidentally. No. Ooh, skeleton. Have you noticed something else here? Yeah. Why the hell are people petrified? Hmm. I think there's something a little spooky around here. Oh no. Ooh, those are oh, no. drow from the looks of it. <laughs> Very spooky. What? Oh, this is not good. What are we dealing with here? I mean, we're level five. We're pretty tough. Uh. <laughs> um. Uh. Um. That's a beholder. Uh. Hi. That. That's a beholder.